Oh my god. Are you guys like pranking me? Am I going against a professional artist? I can draw with both hands and my feet. We've brought in a professional artist to go undercover and challenge some unsuspecting reactors to a draw-off. Today, we're going to be putting your artistic abilities to the test with a little drawing competition. Oh, that's so fun! I love it. Are you good at drawing, though? Because I'm like, eh. I don't animate, but I watch animation channels. You can call it studying. I do draw. I think I'm a, I think I'm good. I've been like an artist for my entire life. I, I don't know if I'm the best artist, but I think I can at least draw. So we're going to do a few different rounds, each with slightly different rules to see who can draw the best in the least amount of time. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm not. For the first round, you will have five minutes to draw a famous Scooby-Doo character of your choosing. Whoever finishes and has a complete drawing is the winner. Okay. I don't know how great I'll do without a reference. Yeah, Let's see yeah, what my mind can come up memory. with. memory. <laughs> see, that's where I am extremely weak, but we'll see what happens. Let's see if we can do it. Think you can do it? I don't think I can do this. This is the worst challenge you could ever put me on. What does a dog look like? Shoot, yeah, I, I have think dog. he has four legs. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? What happened to those good cartoons? It's still around. It's still around. <laughs> what color was the the blonde dude's uh, shirt? White. Fred? It was white. It's white blue and blue. Pants. He's like macho, right? Yeah, he's no. just him, oh no. Oh, well, depending on which rendition of him. Ah, uh, I give him too short of a torso. He's emo Shaggy. <laughs> he went through a phase. Yes. How we old is Shaggy? Through. He's technically a teenager. He is? He looks like he's like 30. I also haven't watched Scooby Doo since I was like five. So if this um, interpretation is entirely wrong, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna try Velma. Does the glasses make it a lot easier? That does not look like an ear. Jacob, did you watch Scooby Doo growing up? Um. A little bit. Everybody had to because you know? it never went off the air. No, he had like this I mean, it's messy, Hollywood. like, high vibe hair, you know. High vibe? He's a pothead. We'll make him a belt. And sometimes some We'll make a Gucci. <laughs> we'll give him a Gucci belt. Let's give him an ass, too. This is supposed to be like a, like a ball of energy, by the way. I don't know what else to do. Like, this looks exactly like him. Her hair is like so basically shaped, but I can't remember. Oh, this is so poor. Maybe this is like a different new universe inter interpretation of her. Looks like Scooby-Doo on crack. This looks like a mouse. I have no idea how to do like anything from the freaking shoulders down. This does not look like him at all. This kind of looks like Carrot Top or something. <laughs> this looks like Shaggy. Like, this looks... <laughs> More like oh, Shaggy's and Velma's son. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's looking real good right now. Oh my god. Are you guys like pranking me? Am I going against a professional artist? No, she didn't have orange hair, did she? She had brown hair. Oh my god. She had, she had an orange sweater, no. Well, in this version she has orange hair. Because <laughs> I can't erase this. So, new interpretation. I'm not doing very well. Wow. All the like cartoons that I watched in, in Mexico, they were on um, like Spanish, but Scooby Dooby Doo was like it stayed with Scooby Dooby Doo. I mean, the song was in Spanish. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo stayed in Swedish too. <gasps> that is so pretty. Thank you. She's amazing. Let's get him a nice blunt in the back. We'll get some smoke back there. I feel so. Uh, this looks like. Wow! Wow! I hate that I looked at yours. I made her way too tall. This is so off model. Did you do you see hers? She has like four characters in the span of five minutes that look spot on to each character. I have one question. Mm -hmm. Do you think this no? Would that looks. I mean, sh uh, sorry, I just swore in front of a child. Mom! <laughs> okay, she's going ham right now. Mine's cute though. Like Yours is what? adorable. Have heart. How right? many are you doing, sis? Is that Fred? This uh, is so nice. You guys trick me into this? She's obviously gonna win all of the next ones. If I looked at her, I'd know what I did terribly wrong. If you wanted a reference, there's one right next to you, cause uh, Avian here has drawn a few different characters. 
Oh my god, I should have looked over. That looks just like her. Oh no. <laughs> you had like a little cheat code for me right there and I didn't even look. Avian is actually not a new reactor. She's a professional artist and has worked on several TV shows. Of course she is. What? Yep. I actually work on Scooby-Doo. What? Which TV shows? <gasps> no way! What? I worked for Hasbro for Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Spiders. I worked for... Uh, Disney for Puppy Dog Pals. I oh my gosh. For uh, actually multiple shows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, how does just animating feel? Animation is my life, my dream. How did you start at art? I started at art by the same way as you. I started drawing on walls. <laughs> But she actually got somewhere. I have the most respect for stuff like this. Even like a little sketch of Shaggy, which you don't think is the best thing. It looks like the most adorable interpretation of him. You guys tricked me. I was literally watching you the whole time and I kept looking back. I was like, why are you making me go? Like, this is so good. Do you think Shaggy, this can make the cut for the new animation? Let's just keep it as a maybe. <laughs> yeah. This final round that we're gonna do, it's not a competition anymore. Okay. There's just one of our YouTube users, Sigma Rex, requested that we draw Peter Pan as a werewolf. So if you want to do your best take on it, Avian's going to take her best chance. Wow. Do you have any tips or tricks that could help Izzy out on becoming? Yeah, I need, I need a lot of tips. What are the things do you think you feel like you're um, lacking? Uh, everything. You said wolf? I thought we left the werewolf life back in the day in Twilight. How to draw hair, so. Um, ah, I'm so scared. Basically, it's ah. all these strokes and then... Yeah, ah. yeah, there you go, see? If you're gonna be in story art, which is different than storyboard artist, you can um, have your own style. But I'm a style mimicker. So as a storyboard artist, I'll take somebody else's vision and I will continue that. Because sometimes, you know, they will need somebody to continue on when they leave off. Dang it, why couldn't it be like a hand turkey? Can't it be like Peter be Pan? Be a hand turkey! I, mean, I want it to be, be a hand turkey I'm Peter Pan. Be, Peter be Pan a hand, hand turkey, turkey Peter Pan. We're Have fun. So, he's standing there looking awesome. Draw from observation. It will train your eye. It will train your hand. It's like another language to me. Yeah, so that's, you, you start off with a skeleton and then you build up. The hair is gonna work this way and then it's gonna work this way. It looks like a rocket. <laughs> rocket raccoon, yeah. As someone who's an art college and who's gonna take storyboarding classes like next year, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, do you have any like general advice? Here is the advice. Listen to your body. Okay. It's so easy to be so excited about the shop. Because this is, you work in animation. This is like your dream. But you can get so excited about your dream that you put so much of yourself into it that there's nothing left for you. Take care of yourself first and foremost. I'm gonna have Peter Pan be, I don't know, a car. A car, Peter Pan with a feather. What does his hat look like? Can oh, you it show looks, me how yeah. to draw a hat? It looks like this, a little dip, and then... Always great to, to just look from life. It's the same way as an actor, as, as a writer, as anyone, draw, take from life. Weren't you drawing with your left hand? Yep. And I now can, with your right? I can draw with both hands and my feet. Do you want me to demonstrate? Does Peter Pan have a long neck? I don't know. We'll make his neck green. He's very green and he's very, uh... He has a feather, right? What color is his feather? Red. Why do you do this? Honestly, for as long as I can remember, it's just been the thing that I was drawn to the most and what felt right for me. Like, compared to when I would study or go out and work and do different things, I figured that was just the obvious choice for me. Good. That is the correct answer. <laughs> can you draw a Tinkerbell, Avian? I think I can. Of course you can. She's gonna have purple hair, okay? <sighs> She's a punk Tinkerbell. Way better. Way better. <laughs> hey, yours is adorable. Thanks. It's cute. It looks like Hello Kitty. In the comments, they can tell me what they think this is. It's 
mainly just Peter Pan going through puberty. <laughs> this was lovely. Thank you guys so much, and thank you so much for coming in. If you tell me that, Shaggy, I know. So this is how I draw with my feet, just in case I lose both my arms because I still want to be employed in storyboarding. Nothing is stopping you guys. I don't want to hear you complain ever again in your lives. This is a proof, okay? Just get it done, whatever you gotta do. Thank you so much for watching. You wanna uh, see more of my art, uh, you can go to avian underscore Anderson on Twitter or on Instagram. See my stuff. Let's connect. Bye-bye. <laughs>